Are we still not connected? <laughs> Keep saying poor wireless connection. Oh no, are you connected mm-hmm. to E? Okay, now okay. It sh- now it should be going. Like it's on. We're talking. Yes, we're okay. going. In case you didn't know, I'm Michelle from 97Z. Okay, <laughs> Lynn is here with me today from the Girl Scouts of Northern Illinois. So we are going to talk about cookies and comedy when we get to the retro lunch. But of course, we have to play a game first to get everyone pumped for uh, 80s and 90s music. So this song is called Who Sang It? So okay. you got to pick out the artist. And we're playing 1997 today. I'm bad at this. Especially That's okay. that year. People are watching. They will help. I got, you know, Lori's probably watching. Um, who are my other my other watchers? we got a couple, a handful of them. So, okay. And I'll help you too. There's no prize, so you win. You still get to be <laughs> okay. on the radio okay. if you lose. Number 11 from 1997 is Quit Playing Games With My Heart. Do you know who sang it? No. I don't know who sang most things. Oh, Backstreet Boys. Okay. I, I like Backstreet Boys. Mm-hmm. Number 10 is Wannabe. Yeah, I don't know. It's a gr- group of girls. Ah, uh, Spice Girls? Yeah! <laughs> uh, number 9. By the way, Shasta totally knew Backstreet Boys. Good job. <laughs> number 9 is, uh, the song was How Do I Live. No, I It's like a country song. I just saw her on TV. It's a total side note. She looks weird. Uh, Leanne Rhymes. Okay. She has had some work done. <laughs> Casey and Lori also do Spice Girls as well. <laughs> Number eight of the song is Return of the Mac. Yeah, no. Mark Morrison sang that one. Who? <laughs> I actually don't know who he is either. Number seven is Don't Let Go is the song. I might have heard of that one. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Oh, have we got any audience participation on this one? Uh, still got guesses coming in. Uh, Shasta checking in again with Leanne Rhymes. Yes. Uh, right now we're looking for the artist who sang Don't Let Go. Any guesses? It's a bunch of women again. Mm. It, is it En Vogue? It is En Vogue. Oh. How about number six? From the Space Jam soundtrack, I Believe I Can Fly. Yeah, I shouldn't know that, right? His Don't name know. his name starts with a letter of the alphabet. <laughs> it's just a his really... name starts with R. <laughs> his name is R. Kelly. R. Kelly. I think okay. most people's names actually do start with the letter of an alphabet. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, that made sense. Good point. Uh, Bo, this one, by the way, Bo totally knew R. Kelly. Bo knows a lot of you, uh-huh. I think. Uh, number five is Can't Nobody Hold Me Down, and I didn't know this one either. <laughs> Not even a chance. It's Puff Daddy. <laughs> Uh, number four is Unbreak My Heart. I've heard of that. All right. In 1997, I was 10, and I swear I was belting out Tony Braxton, Unbreak My Heart, in the car. Obviously not alone, so sorry, Mom. Also, shout out to Teresa and Sierra, who also knew R. Kelly. Nice so, job, Teresa. So by saying name started with the letter of the alphabet, apparently <laughs> got did, that one. I did give a clue. <laughs> yeah. Number three is I'll Be Missing You. Well, at least there's another one I've heard of, but <laughs> I don't know most artists. So. This is also Puff Daddy. Uh, number two, I didn't even I didn't know these songs were the same song, so sometimes I wonder what Billboard was thinking when they sent me this list on the internet. Foolish Games and You Were Meant for Me. Yeah, same know. artist. Uh, let's see. It's a. It's. I'll give you some clues about her. Maybe you can think about her. Uh, she has one name, no last name. Uh, she lived in her car. She used to have really bad teeth, and then she got them fixed. <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, it's like a type of stone. She used to be a yodeler. Oh, yeah, she was yeah, a yodeler. Yeah, I don't have any yeah. clue. Uh, Shasta says Jewel. Casey says Jewel. Jewel, Jewel is the winner. Yeah. Her teeth are totally fine now. And uh, the number one song of 1997 was Something About the Way You Look Tonight slash Candle in the Wind. Do you know who's in Candle in the Wind? Well, that one, I don't know. Elton John. Yes! <laughs> Congratulations, Lynn. You have earned your spot on the retro one. So we are going to go do that in just a few minutes. Make sure you listen, and we'll talk about cookies and comedy, too.